mein größter Fan. Hey, was ist los? Hallo. Was du da? Ja. Bist du aus Deutschland oder? Ja, ich bin aus Deutschland. Woher denn? Ich bin irgendwo vom Bamberg, weißt du, wo das ist? Ja, klar, das ist gleich ja. die Ecke. Wo denn da bei Bamberg? Ja, das ist ein Geldmann. Geldmann, ja. Ja, ja. ja. Bist du schon hier? Um, ich bin zwei Jahre da. Ja, cool. Ja. Ja, viel Spaß heute, ja? Danke. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. Wie heißt du? Ich heiße Dustin. Dustin's officially the coolest kid ever. Viel Spaß heute, ja? Danke. Das ist gut für den Mann. Thank you! Ich habe mich gefragt, dass ich gegen Dirk Nowitzki bin. Und du nennst ihn den Michael Jordan von unserer Generation. Kannst du über deine Beziehung mit Dirk und deine Erinnerungen sprechen? Yeah, Dirk, Dirk and I have always had a great relationship um, because we're both extremely competitive and uh, also both extremely loyal to our teams. I mean, I'll tell you a story about Dirk. I mean, he was up for free agency, and I knew what his response was going to be, but just out of respect, I said, dude, everybody's looking around at all these free agents. I felt I'd just shoot you a text. Said, if you want to come to L.A., you know, it's, and he goes, uh, dude, I would love to play with you, but Dallas is my home. This is my team. I'm not leaving here. And so I, I you know, he and I think, a lot of like in that regard. Dirk against Randall. Let's get out of here. Dirk with a shot. And with 2.1. That's how far we are from getting out of here. That's what he does. That is what he does. He scored five points in the first three quarters. Eight in the fourth quarter. Scotty, a bunch of guys, like NBA players. There was like eight teams. <laughs> this is when Scotty was quote unquote the best defender in the world. So Dirk is kicking our ass. He's got like 25 at halftime. And me and Michael are like, Scotty, you got to pick it up a little bit. He's man, I'm gonna lock him down in the second half. I'm gonna lock him down in the second half. Dirk finished with like 52. <laughs> so I was like, dude, who the hell are you? He starts talking. He's like 18, 19. I says, where are you going to play at? He says, I have to go in the Army. I says, dude, you can't go in the Army playing like that. I says, I'll tell you what. So I called Nike. I says, find out about this kid. Tell him I'll give him anything he wants to go to Auburn. <laughs> I says, just tell him, just anything he wants, we'll, we'll get it done. So they call. This is in the middle of the summer. We're over in Germany somewhere. I said, just give him anything he wants. He's got to go to Auburn. And he said, well, he got to go in the Army. I said, dude, that dude is seven feet tall. He's not going to the damn Army. What are you going to hide behind him? <laughs> <laughs> the next year, the Mavs, well, actually, Milwaukee drafted you. And so I was like, dude, you should have went to Auburn. We'd have been having a few banners up right now. <laughs> <laughs> and those man, I was like, Scott is like, Dude, he is kicking your ass. <laughs> he had like, yeah, seriously, he had like 50 points. It was unbelievable. He was on like 18, 19 at the time. Think of the video of uh, Wade and LeBron coughing. Dwayne said that uh, that was a real cough, by the way. Well, I just thought it was a little childish, a little, little ignorant. Uh, you know, I've been in this league for, for 13 years. I never faked 
uh, an injury or, or an illness before. Um, but you know, that's that's just it happened. It's over to me. That's it's not going to add anything extra to me. This, this is the NBA Finals. If you need an extra motivation, you have a problem. Uh, so we're we're one win away uh, from my dream, what I've been worked on for you know half of my life. So uh, this is really all I'm I'm worried about. This is all I'm focusing on, and uh, and not really off the court stuff that uh, that happened.